Hi, I'm Miles Hillman. I want to welcome you to this presentation. In this presentation, we're going to talk about exposing Satan's strategy to destroy lives through poor health and how you can fight back. We're going to be talking about uh, the current health crisis in our nation. And you're going to learn about revealing Satan's strategy to destroy people's lives and how he does that. We're going to reveal how you can dramatically improve your health and your friend and family's health. And we're even going to talk about how you can play a part in saving a child from dying from malnutrition through a social entrepreneur strategy. And you're going to find out how, by being involved in what we're going to share with you today, you can support our global work at Marketplace Leaders as well as maybe another nonprofit organization. I want to share three stories with you to kind of build this picture. First, there's Zimba, who's a six-year-old child in Africa, and she lives in an orphanage, and uh, every year kids die from malnutrition. They get the food, but they don't have enough nutrition to keep disease away from them. And then there's Janice. Janice is a homemaker. She has three kids, and she uh, struggles, though, with an uh, illness that she can't seem to lick. And then there's Bill. Bill is an entrepreneur, and he wants to not only build businesses, but he wants to make a difference in the lives of others. He wants to be a social entrepreneur. And so by the end of this presentation, you're going to see why all three of these people have a common connection. In John 10.10, we find this scripture that says, The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come, that is Jesus, that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. You see, I believe that Satan's mission statement is to steal your money and your career, to kill your destiny and health, and to destroy your relationships and your family. Our work at Marketplace Leaders has focused along the first one and the third one. We've been helping men and women understand his schemes that wants to kill our destinies. But now I've realized there's a third leg of this, and that is our health. You see, we're going to expose Satan's strategy to kill your destiny by destroying your health and how you can fight back. Well, I'm 60 years old uh, as of July of this past year, and uh, the previous year, and uh, you know, I'm more conscious about nutrition because things don't work the way they used to. And uh, so when I go to the doctor, the doctor wants to prescribe pharmaceutical drugs to deal with any ailment I might have. And I'm really not uh, very open to that idea. But this is the reality of where we live. And so many times uh, the healthcare care system simply, simply wants to prescribe a drug for you and me to deal with any symptoms of illness. There was a time, though, when fruits and vegetables provided the vitamins and nutrients needed to fight disease, but no more can we say that. You see, in America, children and adults receive too much of the wrong kind of food. Ninety percent of the raw food we eat is processed, and the Journal of Nutrition exposed that nearly the entire U.S. population fails to eat a diet in line with the dietary guideline for Americans, which is 7 to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables. Who are they kidding? Who eats that? 70% of the $2.3 trillion cost of health care in the U.S. could be eliminated simply through improved nutrition and exercise. The nutrient levels in fresh fruits and vegetables have been and continue to decline. Four recent studies reported that today's fresh fruits and vegetables are lower in certain vitamins and minerals than they were as little as 50 years ago. These studies compared nutrient data from as early as 1930 to as recent as 1999 for U.S., Canada, and the U.K. No matter the country nor the time frame studied, the results are strikingly similar. The vitamin and mineral content of fruits and vegetables is decreasing. For example, two peaches would have supplied a woman's vitamin A recommended daily allowance in 1951. Today, though, she would have to eat almost 53 peaches to meet this requirement. Recently, there was a program on CNN 
it was a doctor and he was describing a healthcare situation in America. And he said 50% of cancers are preventable just from strategies of proper nutrition. So as you look at these pictures in front of you, what is common about all of these? Well, you see two contrasting pictures, one of extreme famine and the other of obesity. Blatant, obvious famine and what I call insidious famine. In other words, these people are obese and they're eating, but they're not getting nutrition in their food. So that's why they're always hungry, because they're not getting food that actually feeds their body. And this is why so many people are obese. You see, 90% of every food dollar is spent on processed food, which means it takes all the nutrients out of your food. And disease in America has really changed over the last 50 to 75 years. The viruses we used to battle were polio or scarlet fever, bellow fever, and cholera and measles. But today, the diseases we fight are heart disease, cancer, stroke, and diabetes. These are diseases of the internal system of the body. The others were external. What I mean by that is your immune system is not fighting off these diseases that used to fight these diseases 50 to 70 years ago. And so we're seeing more immune diseases, uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, because there's a cellular breakdown in our immune system. You see, the cure for cancer is your immune system, not a new drug. Now, this is what the Lord says. Give careful thought to your ways. You have planted much, but have harvested little. You eat, but never have enough. Haggai 1, 5 through 6. If a brother or sister is without clothing and in need of daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warmed, and be filled, and yet you do not give them what is necessary for their body, what use is that? Even so, faith, if it has no works, is dead, being by itself. So, do we have the foods and nutrients that can help people? And what happens if the body is starved of these vital nutritional support? Well, the bodily systems begin to malfunction and behave other than the way God designed them to. You know, cars and bodies have some similarities. The car has to have several operating systems like the steering wheel and the muffler and the, the disc brakes and the transmission. All these things have to work together and they have to work well for the car to work well. The same is true for your human body. It has several nervous, excuse me, systems like the nervous system, the respiratory system, and, and the circulatory system, and so on. They've all got to work in order for that body to work well. There are six systems in a car, and all six of these need support to make that car happy. It needs lubrication and fuel and cooling. It needs air in the tires and the brakes have to work. Uh, correctly, the electrical system. But when you look at these six things, which one is the most important? Which one would you like to do without? What happens if you deplete a system substance in your car, if you run out of oil or gas, or how about your coolant or hyd hydraulic fluid, or let a tire go flat, or have a dead battery? You're going to be on the side of the road like this gentleman. What happens if you deprive your body of vital substances? How about oxygen or water? Or how about vital nutrients? How long can you go before bodily systems malfunction? How about oxygen? Well, you're just going to go for a few minutes. How about water? You could go days. And how about nutrients? Well, maybe months and years. You see, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, it says in Hosea 4, 6. And never was this more true than the state of our nutrition and the food that we eat today. You see, there are seven systems in your body, and all seven need support. Your immune system, antioxidant, fuel, endocrine system, skin, your digestive system, and detoxification for liver support. Now, which one is the most important? Which one can you do without? Well, I think you would agree you can't do without any of them. And what happens if you deplete a system in your body? Well, you have uh, <clears throat> cellular miscommunication if your immune system's not working. 
If your antioxidants not working, you develop free radical proliferation. If you have low fuel, you're going to have low energy. If your endocrine system doesn't work, you're going to have hormone mis malfunction. And if your skin's not getting what it needs, it's going to age rapidly. And if your digestive system's not working, well, you, you know what can happen if your digestive system malfunctions. And if there's not detoxification of the liver, you're going to have mis malfunctions there. Our grandparents got most of these nutrients naturally through their food. Why don't we get most of these nutrients now through our own food? Here's the reason. We don't get them because of one, green harvesting of fruits and vegetables. When fruits are harvested before they are ripe, they are removed so that the nutrients are not able to be released through that food. We simply don't eat the foods that contain these nutrients. Who eats 7 to 13 servings? And of course processing of the food and the soil depletion and the toxic and chemicalized environment. Now we must get many of our vital nutrients from nutritional supplementation. The Journal of American Medical Association agrees. Most people do not consume an optimal amount of vitamins by diet alone, and it appears prudent to take vitamin and mineral supplements. You know, you will look and feel much better if you are not deprived of nutritional support like these people or not deprived of nutritional support like these people. So what kind of vitamin or mineral supplement would you like to take? What are your options? Well, you've got two options. You can take a synthetically made vitamin or a plant sourced vitamin. You see, 95% of vitamin supplements are synthetic and not derived from real food. They're actually synthetic made from fossil fuels, like coal tar and petroleum. That's the only thing natural about these vitamins. It's not from real food. How about mineral facts? Minerals are generally recovered by mining ores or from byproducts of chemical processes. Tests have shown that the minerals contained in the most popular brands of multivitamins do not dissolve. They are not soluble in either the stomach or small intestine, and they probably pass through the body most of the time without being absorbed. Well, what's the difference in plant source minerals? Well, plants uptake minerals through their root systems. They pre-digest them and then bond them into a food matrix. This provides for maximum solubility. So, what we're looking for is a real food technology solution, food source vitamins, and mineral supplementation. Foods are comprised of synergistic blends of various nutrients bound together into what's called the food matrix. It is the food matrix, not its individual nutritional constituents, that best supports human biological processes. Now let's shift for a moment and talk about where pharmaceutical uh, drugs come into this and your health. The pharmaceutical industry is a $50 billion industry. I like this cartoon. I have an idea. Let's drug half the population. I have a better idea. Let's get everyone to pay us for those drugs. I have the best idea. Let's call it medicine. You see, 50% of all Americans take a pharmaceutical drug daily, and 90% of senior citizens, and even 20% of children. And the U.S. consumes 50% of all drugs in the entire world, and yet we are only 5% of the world's population. America is only one of two countries in the world that allows advertising of pharmaceuticals on TV. The word pharmakia literally means drugs and appears five times in the New Testament. Pharmakia is translated into our English Bible as either witchcraft or sorceries. We also get our English word pharmacy from the Greek word pharmakia. In each of the above five passages, pharmakia or drugs is listed as a work of the flesh of man, as opposed to the Spirit of God working in us. In Revelation 18.23 it says the light of a lamp shall not shine in you any more in the voice of the bridegroom, and bride shall not be heard in you any more. For your merchants were the great men of the earth, 
For by your sorcery, which is translated in the Greek pharmakia, all the nations were deceived. The average number of deaths per year from dietary supplements is zero. And yet 105,000 Americans are killed every year by taking their prescription drugs exactly as instructed. Now let's look at an easy way to receive real food nutritional support. I came across a company called Manatech back in uh, 2012 and I met the founder of that company, um, Sam and Linda Castor, and I learned about their company and how God had given them inventions about how to extract vitamin nutrients from live plants and put it in a supplement. It's one of the few real food technologies out there. I believe this is one of God's witty inventions he's given to one of his servants. And I believe he is a Joseph solving a global problem today. Manatech products make it easy to receive the real food nutritional support your body's systems need. One of their products is called Ambertose. It features eight biological sugars, not the kinds of sugars that you think of about table sugar, but these are biological sugars that the body absolutely needs to promote cell-to-cell -cell communication. You see, if your cells don't communicate to one another, your system will break down. And that's why this product is made to help your operating system of your body. It has 49 patents around it. And it also features the healing, um, uh, the, the healing substance that comes from the aloe plant and other plants formed in a matrix. You know, years ago they discovered that this, uh, um, what's in the aloe plant uh, once it comes out, it, it will die unless it's uh, captured in the right form. And Ambertose is able to do that. Another product is the Nutriverus product. It features antioxidants from real food sources that help protect cells and tissues and organs against the effect, effects of free radicals, which are associated with aging. It has vitamins and minerals from real food sources they provide important nutrients for energy and supporting healthy blood sugar, eyesight, bones, joints, heart, breast, and skin. And it has a real food base from rice brain, bran, excuse me, and organic fruits and vegetables. It has three core ingredients in the Nutriverus product. It has Ambertose AO, which means antioxidant oxidant protection, Phytomatrix, which has vitamins and minerals. And it also includes Ambertose, their flagship product, to support the immune system. So we recommend this product for maintenance, but Ambertose for those who have uh, something they're trying to overcome in their health area. Between these products, they have 70 worldwide patents. Now let's talk a moment about where we are in our society in America. You see, we have an aging demographic in America. The, these are called baby boomers, and life expectancy in the last 70 years went from age 42 all the way up to 74. By 2025, 1.2 billion people over the age of 60 will be on the earth. The likelihood of a major disease after 60 doubles every five years. By age 85, you have a 45% chance of having Alzheimer's and a 1 in 2 chance for men of having cancer. So we have a group of people that desperately need products that can help them with their health. Another thing I like about Manatech is their six-month risk-free guarantee. If you're not totally satisfied with the results of taking any of their products, they will give you your money back, even up to six months. So you've got a choice. Choose to support your body's critical systems with real food, like Nutriverus or Ambertose, or choose to attempt to support your body's critical systems with synthetic vitamin and mineral supplements, or choose to do nothing and become a participant in the insidious nutritional famine. You know, sometimes you might be out there and you might run into a Christian who might say, well, God is my healer. I don't need supplements. 
Well, that's a lot like saying, I'm going to jump off a building and gravity's going to save me or God's going to save me from gravity. Because gravity doesn't care what you believe, you're still going to fall off that building. And the reality is, if you keep eating the way you are, you are going to get sick. Because we simply do not have the nutrients in our food to supply what we need to create and fight off disease. It's just a fact of life. Well, I get a lot of opportunities to be involved in companies over the years that I've been in this ministry. But my good friend, Craig Hill, who is on my board and has been involved with Manatech for over 15 years, introduced me to the company, and that gave me a comfort factor. And then I recently got to know personally the founder, Sam Castor, and his wife, Linda. Their corporate headquarters in Dallas, and I walked through the corporate headquarters and visited their company and heard his vision, heard his story, and I saw God all on all over him in the aspect of his story and how God was leading him. You can learn about their story in Sam and Linda's book, The Undeniable Destiny, that Linda wrote. We also include a free CD with that that talks about their products. You can get it at tgifbookstore.com. Now let's shift a little bit and talk about social entrepreneurship, which is the recognition of a social problem and the uses of entrepreneurial principles to organize, create, and manage a social venture to achieve a desired social change. I believe that we're in a day where God is calling men and women to be social entrepreneurs. Another way of saying that is a Joseph calling. You see, Joseph was a social entrepreneur. God gave him a vision for what was to be done. God revealed a vision to him to thrust him in a season of adversity. He was successful in his adversity, and God prospered him. He had dreams and sought God in every aspect of, of that adversity. And he was a given a solution to a global problem like famine. And God's favor was upon him. And then he was elevated to fulfill an 81-year assignment. I believe that God's raising up men and women to fulfill their Joseph calling through social entrepreneurship. And Sam is just one of those. And here's what he has done in this company. They're not only serving the needs of people's health, but in the 90s, they were visiting an orphanage in Romania and learned that that orphanage was losing 30 to 40 kids a year to malnutrition. They were getting food to eat, but it didn't have enough nutritional value in it. And so the kids were dying. Sam and Linda were brokenhearted over that and said, we're going to help you. And they gave them a year's worth of nutritional supplements. After the end of the year, they found out that they did not lose one child to malnutrition. And so this began another revision. You see, there is a global nutrition problem among children in orphanages. Undernutrition contributes to 53% of 9.7 million deaths of children under five each year in developing countries. And malnutrition is a phenomenon that touches the lives of 55 million children at any given moment. One third to one half of all childhood deaths in the world are linked to malnutrition. So God gave him an idea. He was inspired by Tom Shoes, who had a vision to, to make a pair of shoes and give a pair of shoes to a needy child. And so Sam has adopted this idea. And for every product that you purchase under what they call their auto ship program, they will give one to their Nonprofit organization Mana Relief, which will distribute to needy orphanages. On top of that, they will allow a portion of that sale to go to any nonprofit organization uh, that support or supporting a another mission like Marketplace Leaders, and uh, you can uh, do that as well, uh, or a nonprofit of your preference. It doesn't have to be our organization. Now let's talk a little bit about how uh, supplements have changed in the way of what you can say about them today. 
the Dietary Supplement Health Education Act of 1994, uh, they call it DSHEA, uh, this was a law that opened the door to talk about dietary supplements and educate the public about them and what they could do for people. And the law stated that one can talk about the effects of dietary supplements on specific health issues. However, all that changed in 2007 when the Texas State Deceptive Trade Practices Act determined that they wanted to redefine that law and ultimately they were able to do it. They said that vitamin supplements or foods are, are not allowed to claim a product has a direct impact on a disease. In other words, Cheerios cannot say exclusively any longer that it lowers cholesterol. They've got to add additional statements to that. Only the representatives of FDA approved pharmaceutical drugs can make any claim today that their product affects any particular disease condition because the drug product has gone through all three phases of drug trials and has been approved for such a claim by the FDA. So no nutritional supplements can make such a claim because it has not been proven as such through the three-phase drug trials. So, Manitech conducted its marketing efforts from 1994 until 2007 in accordance with legal opinions obtained from attorneys who were experts on DSHEA. However, in 2007, the Texas Attorney, Attorney General's Office chose to interpret the DSHEA law of 1994 in a way totally contrary to the legal opinions that Manitech had received. It seems that their interpretation of the DSHEA law was that any claim made pertaining to a Manitech dietary supplement in reference to improvement experienced in any degenerative condition or bodily system malfunction, whether true and scientifically or medically verifiable or not, is an act of fraud under the Texas State Deceptive Trade Practices Act. The Texas Attorney General maintained that such claims can be made only about FDA-approved pharmaceutical drugs. So, consequently, on July 5, 2007, the Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott formally charged Manitech, Sam Castor, and several other related similar type companies of making unauthorized claims regarding Manitech supplement products in violation of state law according to their interpretation of DSHEA. Manitech was then faced with a choice of either fighting the Texas Attorney General's interpretation of DSHEA in court for years while continuing to endure the attending barrage of negative press as a public company or settling the case more quickly out of court and agreeing to abide by the Texas Attorney General's interpretation of DSHEA. Manitech's board of directors chose the latter course of action to pay the fines and settle the case out of court. Now this is why you might look on the internet and you're going to find this type of language and it's going to appear as if Manitech has done something wrong. The truth is all they've done is explain that their product has positive effects on health and as a result when that law got passed uh, a lot of negative press and a lot of negative stuff on the internet came about. It doesn't really surprise me, you know, as I've studied the life of Joseph and those that God has his hand on, those are really the marks of a Joseph company or a Joseph calling because Satan attacks us in the area of our inheritance. They're often wrongfully accused, just like Jesus and Joseph being wrongfully accused. But one thing we know is that God alone is the source of advancement when we obey. And that's why I believe that Manitech should have gone out of business, but God has seen fit to allow them to provide this product. However, they've got to depend on the Lord to get their message out. And Zechariah 4, 6 says, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. They're called to solve a global problem just like Joseph was called to solve the problem of famine. Manadek is called to solve the problem of malnutrition and to help people 
get the nutrients in their own lives. So now you see why these three stories relate. Zimba from the orphanage, Janice in her own health needs, and Bill who wants to be a social entrepreneur. So there are four ways of being involved in Manatech. One, your own health. You want to make sure that you're getting the nutrients you need. Second, you may want to join in the fight of malnutrition. Third, you might want to support marketplace leaders or another nonprofit. And then fifth, there might be a way after you try the product for a season, you might off, might want to share the vision of Manatech and receive income from that. So the first step for you is to become a member. A member is simply a customer. Use the product to better your own health and your families. Maybe you are using a synthetic product today. Why not switch and use a real food source product? One of the programs Manatech has as a customer is that if you order a product and you want to keep taking it monthly, you get another person on that product, you get 25% off. And if you get four people taking it, your product is free. What a great program. Your product is free. So think about making the switch. 500 million people take supplements. And since 95% since of those vitamins are synthetic, why not make the switch to real food supplements? Then later, once you start using the product, you can come back and consider being an associate. We want you to really experience the product. But Manatech can be a good business. Deuteronomy 8.18 says, And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to get well, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. So, you know, one of the things I like about Manatech, I really believe it's a kingdom-centered business that is based upon the premise that these products must be shared with other people by one-to-one -one and people sharing that story. Think about it. How could you ever explain the entrepreneur story behind helping those orphanage if you just had this product on the shelf in a retail store? You know, Jesus and the disciples used sharing the story as their model for getting the word out. So the product and mission is the primary focus of this company compared to other companies that might focus on other aspects of income producing. This company focuses on the product and the mission, not the income. And they want to serve people and be led by the Holy Spirit. So would you pray about joining me to help fight malnutrition among all of us as well as kids? and to support marketplace leaders. So your next step is to click on this website. If you're not already on this website, you can go to this website and there you'll learn more. You can <clears throat> access interviews with Sam Castor, with Craig Hill, and you can read some other articles and watch other videos there. So your first step is going to be to start trying the product. Ambertos is their flagship product that came out in the 90s and it deals with your operating system. If you've got major health issues, we recommend that you take that first. If you don't, and you're healthy, and you just want something good for your family, your kids, and uh, just you, Nutriverus is what you may want to consider. It's uh, less costly, and it's uh, able to provide all the needs that you have if you're in a fairly good condition. Just visit marketplaceleaders.org forward slash health to click on the link there in the body of the letter to order either of those products. Finally, you can contact us by calling 678-455-6262 extension 104 or email me at os at marketplaceleaders.org.